1,200 demonstrators taking their fight for a higher minimum wage to the McDonald's flagship restaurant in Chicago. Today, they are expected to protest at the company's annual shareholder meeting. Our Jeff Locke has more. Two big days of protests underway against McDonald's, Lauren and Nicole. I come to you from outside the famed rock and roll McDonald's in Chicago. Yesterday, this was the scene of mass protests. They essentially shut the restaurant down for a short time. Some McDonald's workers walking off their jobs in the fight for 15 battle. Workers saying uh, that they don't make enough at McDonald's, many of them, to not survive without food stamps. Critics, of course, say. If you raise the minimum wage at fast food restaurants, it will simply eliminate jobs. But I talked to the uh, president of the Service Employees International Union yesterday, Mary Kay Henry, who said she thinks that's a lot of baloney. We reject that notion. People have more money in their pockets. They spend in their local community. It can create jobs. That's what's happening in Seattle and San Francisco. It's going to happen in Washington, in California, New York, who just passed their $15. And we're, we're not stopping until every fast food worker has 15 in a union. When I asked one McDonald's striker yesterday if she was worried about losing her job at McDonald's in this battle because she walked off the job yesterday, she said, no, not really. This economy currently is awash in low-wage jobs. If I get fired here, I'll just find one somewhere else. Lauren Nicole, back to you. Great story. Thank you, Jeff Locke, for bringing it to us. Jeff Locke in Chicago.